Hi, hello, to, welcome to my latest video and um, today I wanted to talk about the other drone hobby. What do I mean when I say the other drone hobby? Well, you all know me from my drone videos from flying one of those. That's a DJI Mavic Air and before that the DJI Spark, uh, which are both camera drones. Those are drone platforms that have been specifically developed to actually make video with them to go out, fly, get stable video, get the video, the kind of video that you've been seeing all over this channel before. So what do I mean when I say the other drone hobby? The other drone hobby basically means, uh, well, there is this other world of drones out there of quadcopters that do racing, freestyle and so on. Um, basically those are not as stable build as uh, the drones that we use for the video stuff um, but they're more built for speed and stuff like that and power and um, they usually do not have any GPS in there they have a lot less sensors in there um, because they basically use all the weight they can get for their batteries or well they try to be as light as possible um, and um, those drones are actually quite a different beast to fly while it is quite easy to fly one of those um, basically the drone those drones the camera drones are mostly flying themselves it's more about knowing how to maneuver them and how close you can get to things and stuff like that flying one of those while the uh, racing drones the fpv drones let's call them fpv drones are um, basically drones that uh, will have a lot less of the stabilizing and so on. So you have manual, you have to take them, keep them in, in, in well, level flight and, and make them keep the height. Now there is a few features in, in most of them that can help you to do that. Um, you have different modes um, ranging from, well, some have altitude hold where they at least uh, give you the, the height. Uh, most don't have. And there's angle mode, which uh, just limits you on how far you can angle uh, a drone and it will return to, to center or at least try to return to center, um, which is already helpful. And then there is acro mode, which is what the pros are flying in, um, where you basically have to even uh, do the leveling uh, yourself, but you can do quite funny things like, well, flying uh, on top of the drone. Well, I've seen someone do that with reverse motors, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to talk about those modes too much today. Um, the thing is that uh, when people talk about a drone hobby, they quite often mean the FPV drones, not the camera drones that I've been using. On the other hand, the people who fly the camera drones usually mean the camera drones do not mean the FPV drones. Now, I, I own both. Um, I have my camera drones, which you've seen already. And I have uh, some extremely small, uh, and I'm going to get to that, uh, drones for, well, more fun. Um, the first, the, the class of the drones that I have is nowadays called Tiny Whoops. Uh, Tiny Whoop is a trademark, um, it's a specific drone, but it has become also a, a quite a generic name for this kind of drone. Um, the first one that I got was from Horizon Hobbies. Uh, it was called the Blade Inductrix FPV Pro, I believe, and uh, that meant it came with a spectrum transmitter. Um, well, it didn't come with it, but it needed one, so I bought the cheapest one of those, and uh, I bought some extremely cheap uh, Fat Shark goggles as well, and that was like two years ago or something, and um, so. I had some fun with that drone, but in the end I wasn't really too happy with its performance. Uh, it was extremely hard to fly, I found. Um, by today I'm not sure if that was completely, well, just me not being able to, or if that was uh, a broken drone actually, because um, I've heard that a lot of people say the plate Inductrix drones have extremely well-made uh, abilities, are extremely well easy to fly and um, the one I had just disagree so recently I've bought the uh, Tiny Hawk by a company named Emacs not sure if you can see that 
Um, the Tiny Hawk is sold in two different uh, variants. It's uh, sold in a bind and fly version that is without a remote control transmitter and that's without um, the goggles and in a ready to fly version which is this one uh, which comes basically with this case and a few things in there. Um, now, I'm not doing any unboxing or anything but I wanted to show you what I'm talking about a bit. So if you look at this package and I hope you can see it well right now um, you have the actual drone the tiny hawk here and I'm going to talk a bit more about what it actually is in a moment uh, you get some extra props I haven't actually needed the extra propellers yet and I've crashed this quite a few times into the walls um, there's a battery as well, there's uh, some screws and stuff, um, not going to go too much into that. There's a charger for up to six batteries included, but only one battery. Uh, but those batteries are cheap, it's 1S batteries, you can get them like for a few euros. Um, then there is a remote controller, you can see this remote controller. It's a very simple one, uh, looks a bit like a gamepad. Um, it uh, comes with well a limited amount of channels you have two switches here that can go into three positions each you have the two gimbals and that's basically it um, uh, it has a 16850 battery in here um, well I haven't opened it but that's what the menu says and you have a built-in charger USB so you can use that not sure if you could even see what I was showing, but well, <laughs> there we are. And then there is uh, a battery pack f for the goggles. This are the goggles. Um, not sure if you can see it all. If you look in here, there's a tiny screen in there. And um, this tiny screen is basically, uh, well, magnified a bit with, uh, with some optics in there. And actually, you get quite a good picture of it there is nothing to complain about that but uh, <laughs> it's a bit um, small you know if you put it on your face like this uh, it doesn't really cover everything for me um, so it's not ideal but it works it works works quite well even so yeah that's what you get if you get this package and I got this package recently um, uh, isn't that expensive you can get it if you order it from China for like around 150 euros um, Banggood or Gearbest and um, basically you can you get all that you need to get started um, with the this kind of drone I'm going to get the stuff all back now the remote control, as I said, doesn't have that many channels and isn't the greatest one. But, but you can get started and you can get to, to uh, where you can actually hover the drone and fly it and that's okay. So 150 euros to get started with this hobby is quite nice as you can see. I'm now holding the drone again and um, I, I'm, I, I don't, I don't know um, where to go with this. Um, I think actually uh, talking about uh, how those drones are built, what are the components and stuff like this might be quite interesting, but that would also make this video quite large. So I'm just going to rough go roughly over this. And if you're more interested in learning more about those kind of drones, just let me know. So what you have here is you have a frame, obviously. Um, so you can see this frame is ducted, so it has those uh, ducts here, which protect the propellers. That's ex extremely helpful, especially when you're new and when you want to, to fly indoors. Those drones are basically made for flying indoors. You can fly them outdoors, but uh, uh, they're made for flying indoors. Um, my apartment is a bit small for that, but uh, I can still fly in and... Uh, try to learn how to fly those better here um, and those ducts basically protect you and uh, all your valuables from 
the propellers as well as the propellers from the walls. Um, so as I said, I haven't needed the replacement propellers yet because, well, the drone is quite sturdy. Uh, on the bottom side, you have a holder for your batteries, um, which uh, has a connector here. Um, below that, you have the board, which has built-in ESCs. Uh, it's a built-in power board. It has basically this is one board that has it all built in for this drone, a video transmitter. You can see the camera here below this, um, which was basically used for um, the FPU. So if you have that screen in your goggles, that's what it's showing. It's showing what the drone is seeing. So for me, the next thing um, I got after getting this drone, um, I mentioned that I had the uh, inductrix before and um, for the inductrix I had to get a spectrum radio I wasn't really happy with that spectrum radio it was uh, the cheapest one they had and boy it sucked it really sucked um, I had switches fall off and uh, it feels sluggish and shit now the one that comes with the tiny hawk drone is um, was a bit better I felt um, but still it's not really um, precise and um, the, the interesting part is that the tiny hawk uh, supports uh, free sky um, as a protocol um, which uh, means you can use a free sky transmitter or is it called FR, FR sky I don't know I'm, I'm calling it free sky <laughs> and um, yeah, basically you, you can, can get a, one of those controllers. It needs to support the DA protocol, which the one that I got uh, didn't by default. Well, as it is open source, and you guys know I like open source. Generally, I'm a software developer, so there's nothing better than open source. Um, yeah, because basically the software on this transmitter, the FreeSky X-Lite, is uh, open source um, it's called OpenTX I could easily flash that protocol on this uh, remote and now I can actually use this remote which you might notice also looks like a game controller uh, I can use this remote to actually control the Tiny Hawk and um, now I have proper gimbals if you look at those uh, here um, th those are called gimbals the sticks basically um, and quite fast reaction times. I feel that I now can uh, fly this drone a lot better. So this was a bit of a pain to set up, but um, there was uh, some video by a guy called, I think he's called Joshua. I'm not sure if I remember correctly. I'm going to link him there, no, there I guess. And um, I'm going to link to his channel there. Um, he has some really great videos on drones uh, and FPV flying and uh, opposed to, to a lot of the other channels, his channel is actually focused on teaching people uh, a bit about the hobby, which has been quite helpful to me. Um, well, so yeah, that's, that's basically my other drone gear and uh, what I can do with this is basically fly this tiny drone around and um, well, as my apartment is a bit small, I'm not really flying that much uh, as I would like to. But um, yeah, I'm currently learning with uh, mixed results to fly this. I have recently changed the tuning on this uh, Tiny Hawk from the um, default tuning, which made it actually quite okay to fly, made it easy enough, to a uh, tuning that's called Mockingbird, a Project Mockingbird. Um, which basically allows to, um, a bit more snappy and it changes a bit of the a few of the things on how the drone is controlled, which makes the drone um, well a bit harder to control again. <laughs> but uh, it makes it also feel very reactive and, and very much um, very capable of doing things, and that's uh, basically. Um, the level of control that I want to have and that I want to learn flying with. And that's where I'm at. I'm tr currently trying to learn to fly the Tiny Hawk running Project Mockingbird. Well, I've 
customize Project Mockingbird slightly. So the uh, PDF that described that came with um, extremely quick reactions to the sticks. Uh, so you didn't have much travel and didn't have to move the sticks much. And um, I actually like to move them a bit. Uh, so I feel a bit more in control the way I've set it up. But yeah, if you're interested in learning more about that, you are very welcome to comment. Uh, you know the drill, like, subscribe, all that thread. But if you, if you comment and let me know if you want to know more, I can talk a bit more about this drone. I can talk a bit more on how drones like this actually uh, are built up. Um, can talk a bit more about the gear that I have and I can talk a bit more, more about the experience. But to do so, I want to know if you are actually interested or that you are actually interested in that. Um, well, I guess I'm already reaching a quite lengthy video. So this is where I'm going to end for today. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this quick tour through my other drone and hobby gear. And uh, well, I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.